All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 740 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. Talk some more uh, Falcons today. Um, I feel that the Falcons could make a statement if they decide to move up in the draft. And I think they should move up to the number one spot. I think that the way things are going in Chicago, they're probably going to keep Justin Fields, which is, you know, it's not a bad move. Um, If you look at number two, uh, I think they're going to go quarterback in Washington. Number three, I think the third pick is the Patriots, I think. Yeah, I think the Patriots, they're probably going to go quarterback as well. And if you're looking at the fourth and fifth pick, looks good because those teams got their quarterbacks. But to make sure you get who you want, you may want to move up to number one. That Moving up number one is an excellent move. I highly think that this is something that the team should do with or without a coach. And I think if they do it, it will be an awesome, awesome look for the coach they're trying to bring in. So if this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Uh, a shout out to you guys for rocking with me. We're up to over 1,500 subscribers on YouTube. We're moving the needle on the podcast avenue. Um, I see there's over 70% of people listening to the show on Apple So if you don't mind, uh, if you haven't already, give me a five-star rating on that Apple podcast. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button on the YouTube side of things as well, because that helps the show grow and get into the algorithm so other people can check out the show. Also, I could be found on Twitter at uh, or X at VF Baller. The website is firstandframerates.com. If you want to donate to the show, catch up and PayPal links are below, and that will be much appreciated as well. And uh, let's just jump into this. If you have a coach coming in, before you even think about bringing the coach in, I think this is something that needs to to be on the table. And that would let any coach know that, hey, you come here, you're going to get the pick of the 2024 NFL draft. You're going to be able to pick anybody you want, preferably be a quarterback, and um, because you're going to have the number one pick. We're going to talk to the Chicago Bears and try to move up. They can get the eighth pick. They can get the second round pick for this year and then get the first and second for next year as well. Help. Maybe if you want to, you know, spice it up a little bit, give them the first, second and fifth for this year, first, second and fourth and give them a first for next year. You know, something like that to where it would make sense because there's a lot of quarterbacks coming out of this draft and and a good bit of them are really good. And um, if the Falcons want to make a statement and let people know that we're serious with all this turmoil going on, and let coaches know that we're serious. You go up there and get the quarterback that you want. You get the quarterback, get the best quarterback that's in this draft, whether it be Caleb Williams, Drake May, uh, whether it be um, Jaden uh, Jay Daniels. You know what I mean, you got Michael Penix still there, Bo Nix. It don't matter. Whoever you think is a good quarterback, the quarterback that will fit this scheme of whatever coach comes in, you should go out and make that move. And and this is another thing. When you move, if you tell the coach that the, the, that's coming in, that you want to get that number one pick. It, you you want to tell them that you want to move up to move up to get that pick. That coach is going to get a chance to pick the quarterback that he wants, that he wants. Now, I understand that there's a lot of controversy right now about, you know, Rich McKay and he's making decisions and, and, and Terry Fontenot's not doing this, that, and the third. I get it. And that may still be a factor. But regardless, even if they still work in that way, the best thing to do for them with this team is to move up to number one and go ahead and get the quarterback that they want. You know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it, it's just you really are a quarterback away of being very competitive in the NFL. You have to understand, even with bad play calling, not the best coaching and terrible quarterback play, you were still in you're you were still in every pretty much every game in this for the last three seasons. I think we really got blown out. You know, obviously the the Saints game just passed. The Bears game, you know, those games were like, you know, we it, it looked like we laid down. You look at some other games last year, the Bengals game. I think it was the Dallas game or something like that. Oh, excuse me. There was a there was a lot of things going on with that where we pretty much lost control of a game maybe four, maybe five times in three years. I mean, you're talking about five times in over what forty eight games. 40 plus 45 plus games. That's actually pretty good. That just goes to show you that his team was really competitive throughout this entire ordeal with coach Arthur Smith. You get good quarterback play. 
whether it be a veteran or you know a, a, a rookie or anybody who just don't want to that don't turn the ball over, you win this division, and you can make the case you could have done that three years in a row. And I know Matt Ryan was here for the first year. I get it. You know, we went seven and ten, and that's a little shaky. I don't think turnovers was a real issue. Quarterback wasn't an issue that time, the first year. But the last two, I mean, it, it, that's exactly what it was. You, you're looking at a situation where Mariota just could not get out of his way, and um, Desmond Ritter just could not stop throwing the ball to the other team. So it was it was a situation where it, it's a situation where – you got to get this guy. You got to get the person that you you, you need. And, I, I mean, that's just that's just how it's going to be at this point. It's just how it is. You done been through so much trying to get this franchise right. The last three years have been crazy. Even under Matt Ryan, we were just so close. And we're about to be in a situation where we're going to be in quarterback purgatory for the next maybe five, six, seven years. We're going to be sitting around here looking like the New York Jets or something. If you don't make this move, because being at number eight is not guaranteed. It is something that we need as an organization. It's something that they need. They need to move this team up to number one. It, 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 and the more I think about it, it, it has to be a priority at this point. It has to be. It, it, it's a selling point for the coaches or whoever coach you're trying to bring in. They 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 basically going to have that that level of control because we know how the the level of control is in the Falcons organization, but you know we already talked about that. Not going to go there again. But when you're looking at this situation, it is at the point where we're going to have to try really hard to make that move. We're probably going to be giving up some picks, and we may not be able to be draft. We may not draft again until like the third round, <laughs> you know. But look, look at all the pieces that we have. Look at all the pieces. You could get you a number two receiver in free agency. We might not even be, get, be able to get a decent, you know, bona fide, solidified pass rusher as we find a diamond in the rough, which, to be honest, those aren't that hard to find. You know, it's not as hard as they make it seem. I mean, Zach, Zach Harrison looks pretty good. Arnold Ebikete looks pretty good now. You know, so it, it's not that hard. Isn't it, you know you can find guys who have a motor that can get to the quarterback. Do you, can you find a bona fide one? Now that's a different story. But can you find some adequate ones? Well, I just named a couple right now. So outside of those two, the outside of those two positions, the the pass rush and the quarterback was we need somebody. I want to bank on the quarterback because the quarterback is what's going to make this team have an identity. It's going to have a, make the team have a you know, a sense of relevance and we're going to make, it's basically going to make a break us. So with that being said, I need, I ain't gonna say I need this team needs to make that move. They need to go ahead and, and try to get the number one, go ahead and do that and pick the quarterback, whether it be Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake may, And it just it has to be done at this point because now we're looking at a situation where it, it, people are already looking at us as the laughing stock of the NFL. You know, we're the only NFL team that we're the only NFL team without a without a Super Bowl or something like that. I want to say that we're wrong because I I mean not the Super Bowl but some form of championship because I think the Lions even have had some type of championship. Jets won Super Bowl three. Uh, the Texans. Yeah, the Texans. I just thought about that. Texans don't have a Super Bowl. But nevertheless, but you know what I mean. You know, we don't we don't we we need to this team is too close talent wise. And I still have a reserved situation. I still feel kind of uh, iffy about the whole situation with the front office. But I will say that this team is close. They need to go out and make that move. I, 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 it would be an excellent move. I'm not, I, 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 you know, I'm not a big, like I said, I, as far as quarterbacks go, I don't think you can go wrong with Williams, Daniels, or, uh, or, uh, Drake may Michael Penix. Uh, I think he's okay too. I don't think he's going to be the guy. I could be wrong, but, um, even if we do pick him up, it's not a bad deal either. 
you know, so you, you, Bo Nix is the wild card, but you got five quarterbacks right there. Five. Go up to number one, evaluate all five, and see, you know, find a coach, let him, you know, evaluate all five and figure out which one to fix his scheme and uh, probably have him start in day one. You know, so I think that's the best move right there. So I'm, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If you like this commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble, also on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. If you want to uh, follow me on X or Twitter, it's VF Baller. The website is firstonframerates.com. Cash app and PayPal links up below if you want to uh, promote or donate to the show. You can promote the show by hitting the like button and sharing it and letting people know what we're doing over here. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoy your morning. I hope everything goes well for you and be prosperous. I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take it easy and y'all be blessed. Peace.